Superintendent Spence, why did it take you so long to notify the public about fentanyl overdoses? Sir, why did I'm it take you so long? Nick, we're not going to do this tonight. This is Dr. Aaron Spence, the superintendent for Loudoun County Public Schools in Virginia. And why is he frustrated with this reporter? Well, according to reports, nine kids have overdosed this year alone in one school. And Dr. Spence is under fire for allergically waiting weeks to tell parents. We're not going to have I'm this conversation you a question. the way we're having this conversation. We've had a conversation. When are we going to have the conversation? We put the camera away. You and I go sit down and have coffee, and we'll talk about your approach to journalism, Nick. Okay? Thanks. Why did it take you so long to Nick, notify the parents you, about the gonna, fentanyl overdoses? You didn't know about the overdoses late September? We have a constituent. Nick. Yeah, I understand. Our, why did it take you so long? She does not want to be on camera. Do you mind? I'm asking you a question. Why do you, people want she to know does not want to be on so camera. Do you mind? To notify the public about fentanyl overdoses. Sir? All right. Sir, this is life and death. Yes, this would be. According to the Sheriff's Department, three of those overdoses required Narcan, and two of them required CPR. You said you were going to improve communication and transparency. Do you think you succeeded in that? So, Nick? When you put the camera away, you and I can have a conversation about yes or no. journalism, and then yes we can no. talk about this conversation. Do you think you have improved transparency as the new superintendent? Yes. By not notifying the public about fentanyl we overdoses? Did. When? As soon as I became aware of it, I put a team to work on it. I, had him, I asked them to do a communication plan, an education plan, and a safety assessment. They got to work on that immediately, and before students were back in that building, we had a communication out to parents. And when did That's you tell all. parents? Around the time that the governor issued his executive order, yeah. that's that's when you kidding. that's when you did it. Yeah. No, I'm not. Why why'd you wait so long, sir? Are you going to comply with the governor's executive order to notify parents within 24 hours of fentanyl overdoses, sir? ABC Seven says that parents at that school weren't notified for three weeks. And there you did not commit to notifying the public about fentanyl overdoses within 24 hours. You said you're going to lean into conversations with the governor's office. Does that meaning you're going to challenge the governor on his executive order? Are you going to, in the future, immediately notify the public about fentanyl overdoses happening in schools? Why are you walking away? When are you going to answer these questions, sir? Do you, do you care about school safety? That is the number one issue parents wanted you to focus on. Thank you. Sir?